And so I'm talking to Nori, and the first thing he tells me, yo, man, I did Dream Chance with Irv. You see what he said? I said, yeah, man. Irv Gotti is a sucker, man. He is a sucker. And so my thing is, versus is versus. Whoever won, lost. How long ago was that? How many millions ago was the versus? That's what I want to know. How many M's ago? And I'm not talking crazy to Irv because Irv just closed the deal. You know, God bless him. He's making money. But he tried to take shots at the wrong dude to get his little street cred off of Joe Crack. Don't do that. Okay, don't. We not. Cool. Oh, my God. Your Irv, stop. Right? Your producer. Um, And so I'm watching this. Drink champs. Yo, y'all can at Irv Gotti, whoever the fuck you want, right? Talking to Joe Crack, guys, if you don't know by now, I doubt you never know me. Um, And so, Ashanti, right? And so, whatever... Irv has with Ashanti is 20 years old, right? And so I know he was making some points that mean a lot to him, his heart and soul. But um, when you keep ranting about somebody 20 years later, it felt like he's not over the the young lady, right? And so also we didn't know that they was fucking, right? Because the whole time, I'm there. What's love? Big pun record, on tour. I, mean, I never seen them together like that. Now, I'm not saying they wasn't. They was. Or there was rumors they was. I never seen it. But I don't need to know. I don't need to know. Right? Now, it's okay if it's on a documentary. You got to say your truth for your documentary. But to go to Dream Chance and um, keep calling her a bitch, keep disrespecting. Um, guys, I'm not going to be the one, you know, I'm not the guy, you know, to uh, stand up for Ashanti, the brother. that I'm not the job who was standing right next to him. And so I'm not going to be that guy, Right? But, yeah, like I'm not telling stories about a girl I was with 20 years ago. In fact, I hope you die. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Leave me alone, right? Uh, and so, when you're doing this, it looks... Uh, like you caught up, you ain't get over the shit. Even if you, we know you, you have to be, be over it because it's 20 years, right? But on top of that, it just make, and then everything you else, it, 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 it uh, kind of brings less credibility to everything else you say. And uh, let me tell you something Irv Gotti, he did discover her. Irv Gotti did make it a hit. Did shoot the video. Did. Right, I mean the man did it. He's a genius. It's a fact. He signed DMX. He signed Jay-Z. He signed Ja. The man's a genius. He's a genius. There's no question. But. He make himself look crazy. Disrespecting her, and the woman never really disrespected him, right? And so all the shit he's talking and all that, I'm just looking like, damn, bro. And he kept coming back and coming back. And so let me tell you what Irv was saying is something I've been wanting to talk about, okay? And so to all artists watching me, or all artists that can hear from me. There's a law, guys. All right. I want y'all to listen to me and I don't want to bore you. So I think I'm going to speed through it. 
right? Um, there's a, all right. A, I'm not saying Ashanti did, but there's a lot of artists that's been robbed by producers and record labels. Artists that you've been playing their music every single day. And when you play their music every single day, they're supposed to make money or get paid from it. And they just make little bit and whoever produced it or whatever or robbed them with the paperwork, make the most money. So now they made a law for that. And so artists are going back, redoing the song. Because once you replay it and you put new vocals, it's your song now. So they start streaming the new version. And you start making money off the streams. The problem is that I've been hearing these remixes or covers or whatever. None of them sound the same like the original song. Now I know you got robbed. Now I know you got jerked. But at least you've been touring for the last 20, 30, 40 years off these records, making show money. I heard a song that an artist covered. That's a legendary song. I'll tell you behind the scenes because I respect her so much. It sounded horrible. And I immediately knew they switched the beat a little. I immediately knew it wasn't the same thing. And she fucks up trying to make a little streaming money. Her legacy... Because what do you got to do now, y'all? I want to hear the real... Uh, I want to hear the real version. I, the original version. I want to hear the... What are you doing now? Well, you going to Spotify and say, I want to hear the real one? You're actually helping the old guy. The new one don't sound good. No, I just don't... Yeah. Bro, horrible. I've yeah. heard a couple of them. I heard about three. Yesterday, I'm sitting out by the pool. A classic. They destroyed a classic. And so... Artists... If you're not going to be able to do the song over, it sound like lean back. Leave the song alone and continue to get your show money, continue to get your thing. And I'm not directing this at Ashante because he's talking about it in the drink chance. Right. But it's not for her. But I heard about three other artists I'm not going to disrespect them that the song don't even sound the same. But they thinking, yo, I got to make some money now, streaming. These guys are jerking me. It's fucked up. I wouldn't even try to do Lean Back Over. It ain't going to sound the same. And that shit been feeding me for 20 years. 